Manon Fjord lives up to her beast nickname during her fights, which have earned her a high spot on the UFC rankings along with an extensive and surprising list of sponsorships. The southpaw position, look! Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! First, let's see how Fjord got her start in martial arts. Number 7. Manon Fjord's Early Life Manon Fjord was born in Nice, France on February 17, 1990. Not much is known about her upbringing, but one thing that we do know is that she began dabbling in martial arts when she was just 7 years old. Nowadays, kids grow up practicing mixed martial arts and are well versed in a bunch of different aspects of martial arts before they turn pro. But for Fjord, her introduction was more old school. She started her martial arts journey with karate. However, during her early years, she had to battle two of her passions, karate and snowboarding. She even attended a snowboarding school and won the French Snowboarding Championship. But ultimately, it was her love for martial arts that won out. En fait, quand j'ai commencé le karaté, j'ai dit, je veux, dit à mon père, du coup, bah, je veux être comme Christophe, je veux être champion du monde de karaté. Number 6. Her Martial Arts Journey At age 18, Fjord returned to karate and earned her black belt, and also won a Division II national championship, and progressed to place third in the elite first division before joining the world-leading French national team. The Beast was on her way to making the Karate World Championships in 2014, but an injury derailed her dreams. However, oftentimes the lows come with some highs, and after she recovered from her injury, she discovered kickboxing and Muay Thai. She won several championships and accumulated 12-0 record in amateur Muay Thai while winning two national championship titles and three national championship titles in K1. In 2017, she decided to change things up. MMA was becoming more popular while kickboxing popularity had already peaked. She made her amateur MMA debut in 2016 and quickly learned that there was going to be a harsh learning curve as she was submitted in the very first round. However, Fjord was a quick learner. Within a year, she won the Women's Bantamweight Gold Medal in IMMAF World Championships and turned pro shortly thereafter. Number 5. Career Accomplishments Despite her amateur MMA career ending in a high, she once again had to face the reality that MMA was completely different from her striking experience as she lost her professional debut. But just like in the amateur scene, she quickly dusted herself off and began her 10-fight winning streak. During this winning streak, she defeated Corinne LaFromboise via TKO in round three. The teams are balanced. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Defeated Naomi Tataraglu via TKO in the second round and defeated Gabriela Campos via TKO in the first round. All to capture the UAEW Flyweight Championship. But more importantly, her title win got her a shot with the world's premier MMA organization, the UFC. Her winning ways continued in the UFC as she won her debut in a second round TKO as she unleashed a barrage of kicks and punches against Victoria Leonardo. She followed that up with a standing TKO win against Tabitha Ricci just a few months after her successful debut. As the level of competition rose, Fjord showcased her ever-evolving MMA game as she took home a string of decision victories against the likes of Myra Bueno Silva, Jennifer Maya, and most recently, Caitlin Chukagian. Not only did the win propel her in the title contention, but earned the second spot in the UFC women's flyweight rankings and the number 10 spot on the pound-for-pound -pound list. With this high number comes a target on her back, as many fighters have begun to call her out, including the likes of former champ Rose Namajunas. Fjord just has also one win away from fighting for the title, so her list of accomplishments could become golden extremely soon. It is clear that her transition from kickboxing and Muay Thai to MMA has been a successful one. But what might really stamp this is just how well she has earned during her MMA tenure. Number 4. MMA Paydays Fjord made her UFC debut on Fight Island, where she took home $23,000, $10,000 for showing up and $10,000 for winning. It would be interesting to compare that figure with what she had been earning in her previous organization, but the fact that Fjord was willing to let go of the belt and come to the UFC speaks volumes for MMA pay. Things got slightly better in her next fight. She added 4K to her show and win bonus and ended the night with $28,000. So it seems that the UFC was slowly catching on that they had someone special on their hands. As they bumped her pay up to $20,000 for showing up and $20,000 for winning, which she did earn $44,000 overall. 
Now that nearly doubled in her next fight. She earned $80,000 with $40,000 coming as a win bonus for her decision win over Jennifer Maya. For her most recent win, Fjord netted nearly $75,000 with $60,000 coming as a win bonus. However, she went home with much more than that as her opponent missed weight, which meant she earned 20% of her opponent's pay. All in all, Fjord had quite the profitable night with almost $139,000. Now, These could be signs of things to come as she has climbed almost to the very top of the flyweight division, and it figures that there will be gold waiting up there. It is clear that she is seeing bigger paychecks in MMA than she would have if she kept on kickboxing or doing karate. Along with her winning streak, she has also gathered several sponsors who help her with her camp and add to her shopping budget. Number 3. Sponsors Fjord has had several sponsors help her out in her MMA journey. That is one reason why it can be a good thing to come from a country that isn't overpopulated with MMA fighters. Fjord is one of the few, if not the only, top-tier female MMA fighter from France. Which is why she has secured sponsorships with companies like Konix, who are known for making gaming equipment along with other tech and computer screens. She also has a deal with boutique and diet company Miniweight, who have a ton of vegan-friendly options. And sticking with the diet, Fjord also works with eFit, which helps her get her performance right with protein and pre-workout supplements. As far as her recovery is concerned, she has that on lock thanks to her deal with Whaler CBD, which provide her with sports recovery creams that help with inflammation and other issues which come up during training camp. For her equipment, Fjord relies on the French brand Rinkage. The company has rash guards, gloves, and even athletic wear for Fjord to rock. In the past, Fjord has even worked with the security company Bellator Securite, and it only seems right that they would sponsor a world-class assassin. While well, another one of her unique sponsors is the Riera Group, which helps people find new jobs and integrate into the French community. Lastly, she is also sponsored by Mac 3 Company, which produces air compressors. One of the reasons why Fjord has been able to garner so many different sponsors is because of her engaging social media presence. Number 2. Social Media On Instagram, she has nearly 50,000 followers, while her Twitter following is over 5,000. On both platforms, she shows her unique and fun personality. This includes showing off her gaming setup and pictures of her traveling around the world. There is also a ton of training footage available on her social media along with pictures of her precious dog. If you really want to get to the hearts of MMA fans, well, you just need to deliver some exciting knockouts, play games, and have a dog. And for now, Fjord has all three boxes checked off. Number 1. Her Net Worth as far as her net worth is concerned, we have to take a look at her fighting paychecks and also her sponsors. The thing with her paychecks is that we only have information on the one she received in the UFC, but she has been active for much longer. While her sponsorship deals aren't public, as we have seen, she has quite an extensive list of sponsors and it's not out of the realm of possibility that she earns more through her sponsors than she does through the UFC. With that being said, we would estimate that Fjord's net worth is somewhere around the $100,000 mark, but she has plenty of time to increase that figure, especially if she is able to get her hands around a UFC belt and become the first female French champion in UFC history. We can only imagine what kind of sponsors will come knocking if that happens.